In this video, I'll talk about the fourth periodic trend, electron affinity. Electron affinity. So as always, periodic table first. And electron affinity follows the same trend as ionization energy, so it will increase this way and this way. That's increase. So let's define electron affinity. We'll just call it E dot A. Electron affinity is the enthalpy change when one more of gaseous atom. Gains one more of electron. So, pretty much the opposite of the ionization energy. And you can visualize it, visualize it better with the equation. So, that's we have our gaseous, one more of gaseous atom, that's any element. And it will gain one electron. So, we have one more of electron here. And that will then form x minus g. And one more thing, electron affinity, like literally, it means love of electrons. So, you can just ask yourself which elements tend to become negative, like this one. Which elements like having electrons? And I already said this, mentioned this in the ionization energy one. So, non metals like always having an electron. So, they will have a high electron affinity. I mean, you just, you just see Cl minus. It, it, likes, it likes having an, that extra electron. Or fluorine, that's the most electronic. It's so the trend, as you can see, this like chlorine and fluorine will like, will be, will love electrons, as it says, and that uh, this equation will happen usually, like um, for the case of of chlorine, Cl. Plus the electron just for Cl minus to Cl minus. So yeah, the it's a it's a pretty easy concept. It's pretty much the opposite of the ionization energy, but the trend is the same. Be although they mean opposite things, like at the same time, it's kind of the same. Something that has a, a high ionization energy will be very electron affine. It'll have a very high electron affinity. So as you can imagine, something like let's go with potassium. You used to see potassium like this. It's a plus. It's a plus. So when you look at this equation, you will never see this thing. So that means that this this element potassium is not doesn't have a very high electron affinity so that means this doesn't happen so low electron affinity and well let's see potassium is here so it really makes sense it's gonna have a higher electron affinity than than something that's below it but Overall, it's very low compared to to the to the big ones like fluorine, chlorine, bromine, oxygen. Those are elements that really like having those extra electrons. And well, that's it for electron affinity. It's a very easy concept. It's the same as this is the same trend as ionization energy, and the opposite as metallic character and atomic radius. So.
If you found the video helpful, be sure to like it and share it with your friends.